Hi everyone. For today's walk, I'm not on the beach. I'm on a hill by the beach. Look at that view. You can actually see all the way over to Sweden over there. Um, hills are quite unusual in Denmark. It's a very, very flat country. So this is, uh, this is quite an unusual sight. <laughs> um, but thanks for joining me on this walk. My thoughts today are around pricing. Dynamic pricing is becoming more and more of a norm these days um, in the industry. There are specialized packages, software packages for pricing, and there's also dynamic pricing modules in most of the self-storage software packages that are, that are out there on the market. So airline style pricing has well and truly made it into our industry. And even though there are some pockets in the market that don't use it that actively yet, it's sort of the norm in pricing now. Um, that the price of our storage unit depends on things like availability, occupancy, but also things like demand, um, just like the price of an airline ticket. But while we've adopted the airline style of pricing, what I think we're still way off embracing in this industry is airline style selling. It's something that I've been talking about for a while and in, in different contexts. And what triggered me to talk about this topic today is that I actually did a mystery shopping call the other day. Um, and that was the first time that I heard the humble beginnings of airline style selling, not pricing, but selling being used in our industry. Now, what I mean by that um, is that it not, it's not just about how we price our product, but how we package it up and how we sell it to our customers. Now, when I book an airline ticket, I'm not just choosing which seat I wanna be in, I'm also choosing what degree of flexibility I want in case I need to change my ticket, if I need to cancel my ticket. I'm also choosing whether I wanna board quicker or if I wanna get a meal on the flight, what kind of bag I wanna use or bring. Using things like um, the notice period that uh, we offer our customers whether or not we charge a deposit, how extensive our access hours are. Those are just three examples of attributes that we can really easily package up into a storage equivalent of a business class ticket, an economy plus ticket, and a get me the cheapest possible available option ticket. Um, I was so pleasantly surprised the other day when I heard this on the phone because I do think that this is a space where we're gonna see a lot of creativity in, in the selling space in our industry in the next few years. I know some businesses have already been doing this for a while, um, mostly on websites, offering different packages and, and different options for the same size. Now, of course, there are different sort of do's and don'ts involved when we do this, and what they are depends very, very much on whether we're presenting these options on a website or if we're doing it over the phone or face-to-face. The, appro the approach that we use has to be kind of very tailored to the channel that we're communicating it through. Otherwise, there's also a risk that we just end up confusing our customers. But if we do it right, I do think that there's a lot of potential in this. And I do think it's something that we're going to be seeing more and more of in the months and in the years to come. So if you haven't already asked yourself um, how you could dive into airline style selling, not pricing, but selling, then that is what I would encourage you to do today. What parameters of your contract terms can you vary in order to create different options? Um, how can you package them up in a way that are easy for customers to understand? And then how can you price them in a way that both brings your customers more choice and flexibility and that also allows you to charge for some of the added service that you are probably, I'm guessing, already providing to your customers, but maybe not charging extra for. Those are my thoughts for today. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you on my next self-storage walk.